If you're struggling through shoulder pain right now, I'm gonna give you three quick exercises that you can start doing right now to help reduce that pain and make those shoulders feel better. Let's get you moving. Depending on how severe your shoulder pain is or where you're at in your recovery journey, one of these, if not all of these exercises, could be incredibly helpful towards getting more flexibility and strength back in your shoulders. And it can even help to strengthen those surrounding stabilizer muscles that everybody needs to strengthen to better support your shoulders for the long haul. And this is super important because at WeShape, we believe that when you learn to move your body better, you feel better. And that is what we're all about, getting you to feel better in your body again. So. Get ready to move those shoulders, but please do so with caution, and if needed, make sure you consult your personal care provider before engaging in any of these exercises so you can avoid any potential injury. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I'll show you three different shoulder exercises where each one builds on the last in terms of difficulty. Start with the first one, and if you can do it without pain and with good form for 60 seconds, move on to the next exercise. Then, after I show you these exercises, I'll give you a follow along shoulder workout that only takes five minutes for you to complete. Okay, now that you know what to expect, let's jump in to the first shoulder exercise. Seated shoulder rotations are one of my favorite exercises for improving the posture and strengthening all the muscles around the shoulders and creating dynamic flexibility, which means the ability to assume a position of flexibility with the strength of your own muscles. So important for making your shoulders feel significantly better. So you're gonna start in a chair like this, and the first thing you're gonna do is sit nice and tall, hinge forward at the hips. The more you hinge forward, the harder this will be, okay? So you can even start upright if you want to and slowly move forward throughout this. The other thing too is when you start to lean forward, don't round your back like this, right? Think about your tailbone to the top of your head is one straight line, and all you have to do is just bow forward, almost like reaching your belly towards your thighs. So keep that straight back the whole time, okay? So from there, your arms come up into the outside. You're gonna pull your elbows into one straight line. So the elbow shouldn't be high to the outside, your shoulder shouldn't be shrugged, just one straight line. Turn your thumbs toward the sky, and then from there, you can bow forward if you have that flexibility, and rotate those thumbs back behind you while keeping that head nice and tall. Hold that position for a sec, and really feel those muscles. The lats, the muscles under the armpits, the muscles between the shoulder blades. When you strengthen those muscles, what they do is they make your posture go from this to this. So it's really important to practice exercises like this. And so hold that position, come back down slow and controlled, really try to make that movement smooth, the smoother the better, and repeat this for about 60 seconds, nice and slow and controlled. Now, if that feels pain-free and kind of feels good afterwards, where you notice your shoulders feel like they wanna go backwards more, then take a deep breath and you can move on to the next exercise, which will be a little bit more difficult. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button so you can check out our weekly video releases. Let's head over to the next shoulder exercise. This exercise is called the standing shoulder rotations. And it's one of the best exercises for strengthening your rotator cuffs and really getting the muscles on the back sides of your shoulders to activate, which always helps improve the posture. So you're gonna start this exercise by placing your feet right underneath your hips, toes facing straight forward, soften the knees, hinge at the hips, and bow forward as far as you need to. Not very far if you're a total beginner and more far if you're more advanced and have more flexibility in your hamstrings, right? From there, you're gonna bring your arms up like you're doing a row to a 90 degree position. Okay? So what I don't want is I don't want your shoulder shrug like this or your elbows high into the outside. It's just imagine bringing your shoulders right in alignment where your elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow is in one straight line. Okay? From there, turn those thumbs toward the sky and then all you're gonna do is rotate, trying to maintain the position of your elbow. So as you rotate, don't drop your elbows like this, but instead just let the thumb rotate backwards and imagine from your elbow to your elbow is one straight line, almost like an axle, right? and slowly come to that top position, drive those thumbs back, and what you should feel right here is the muscles in your lats, the muscles between your shoulder blades, pulling back and down. And again, that's so powerful because when you strengthen and tone these muscles, it does this to your posture. Boom, pulls the shoulder blades back and down. And a lot of shoulder pain has to do with your shoulders being forward and tight chested. This opens the shoulders back and activates those muscles on the backside. So again, slow and controlled, keeping everything nice, and smooth and slow, really trying to hold that top position and get those muscles active. Do this for about 60 seconds. 
Try to do it as often as possible and it's gonna make those shoulders feel amazing. If you're enjoying these exercises and are interested in trying a workout where the exercises are not only healing your body, but are also personalized to your goals and capabilities, then make sure you click the link below or go to weshape.com where you can get a personalized at-home workout for free. Give it a shot and your body will love you for it. One of the best exercises for strengthening your shoulders and improving your posture at the same time is the standing bent Superman raise. This is such a great exercise because one of the best things you can do for your shoulders is learn to pull them back and down and create a lot of strength and tone in these muscles to help improve your posture. So to do this exercise properly, start with your feet right underneath your hips and your toes facing straight forward. From there, soften your knees, so just a slight bend in the knees and keep your back flat, which means from your tailbone to the top of your head stays nice and flat. And you can play around with the position. The more you bend forward, the harder it gets. The more you stand up, the easier it gets. So come down to about 45 degrees. And then from there, bring your arms out in front of you, reach them away from your body, really push into them and think about putting your thumbs toward the sky. Now from here, you're going to lift your arms overhead as much as possible without rounding or moving or tweaking your back. All right. So the only thing that moves is from the shoulder to the thumbs. So hold that position, shoulder to the thumbs, come up as high as you can, press your fingertips toward the sky, drive your thumbs back behind you, hold for a second, and then come down slow and controlled. What you'll likely feel is all the muscles from your tailbone all the way up to your neck are gonna fire like crazy, especially the ones around your shoulder blades. And the more you can drive your thumbs backwards, the more you'll feel those muscles work. And like I said, hold this position and repeat reps like this for about 60 seconds and really see if you can hold that perfect form as you come up and don't relax those shoulder blades as you come down, right? Move slow and controlled. Focus on your form, focus on those muscles on the backside and practice this exercise as often as possible to again, help the shoulders open up, improve your posture and make those shoulders feel significantly better. I truly hope that these exercises help you reduce your shoulder pain and make them feel significantly better. Let me know in the comments which one really did the trick for you and how it felt. And if you liked any of these exercises, then as promised, we created a follow along shoulder strengthening workout for you that features these three exercises and only takes five minutes to complete. If you wanna give that a shot, just click the link right here and we'll see you there.